everybody from Epcot. We are entering the final three days of the Flower and Garden Festival. So we decided to come in today, grab some foods that we haven't tried or grab some of our favorites just to enjoy it because seriously, there's only three days left. What is the deal with the street corn? Guys, I love the street corn that this festival has and for whatever reason, we have not had any street corn this year. So since we're nearing the end of the festival, I told my honey, I have to have some street corn. What you're not seeing is that all around me, I've got the duckies waiting for me to drop something. This is heaven. If you like garlic, this is loaded in garlic. Mm. Super fresh, super crispy, super tasty. We went over to Chosa de Margarita and we got these delicious empanadas. It comes with the street corn, but not in the corn on the cob style. This is not part of the festival. It's here all the time and it is amazing. Mm. Has a little kick, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, but it's really good. Really good. That's Yummy. Mmm. Right away you can taste the flavor it's so good it's so much flavor although we're really trying to do a festival vlog of food guys we can't pass up mexico the mexican pavilion is always our favorite and we were really in the mood for these delicious empanadas today so we're throwing this in the mix also i just wanted to show you like some of the foods that are still here as part of the festival in case you guys are able to come next year you know some of the things that you can have we're not going to be able to eat a lot though because i'm already feeling kind of full but i do want to show you a little bit and i still want to show you a couple of more plates that we love for my second plate i got a tostada this is an impossible tostada that is an impossible chorizo and it's got black beans with a tostada underneath the crispy tostada and it's over by the Mexican kiosk part of the festival. I'll tell you guys the names of all the places where we've been getting everything so you're aware for next year. I know I said impossible, but I'm telling you, they must give it the name impossible because it tastes just like chorizo. And there's my honey, Marky Mouse, live streaming. Hey guys. <laughs> he had his glasses <laughs> on because he can't read the stream. The st <laughs> he can't read the stream unless he has those on. How's it going? So the tostada is from the Jardin de Fiestas, which is right by the Mexican pavilion. And that is the Mexican kiosk for this festival. By the way, where I got the corn was called Flavorful Kitchen. And they actually had corn. They also had um, some salmon and a strawberry mousse. But the corn, that's my thing. This is where I got the tostada at. As you can see, it's right next to the Mexican pavilion. There are still a lot of goodies left that you can buy. So speaking of impossible, that boneless impossible Korean beef with the rice, it is amazing. I've had it a couple of times this year and I will be back for it next year. There it is. It's got some kale on the side. The rice is always delicious. And I tell you, it does not, not taste like meat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I think the rest of my stuff is gonna be from the UK area, the Cider House. Over by UK, we got the BLT scone. It's been on my list of things to try, so I figured now is the time. I also got one of the hard ciders. This is a pink lemonade hard cider, six ounce, just a little bit to try. Mm. I like it. 
it. It's very tasty. It's got this foam texture. If you guys know what that is, it's not bread, but it's it's kind of like a bread texture, just harder. It's really delicious. I don't know what I think these are. Oh, this is the bacon. Hold on. Oh my god. It's even better with the bacon. I like this. This is really good. And the cider, I gotta tell you guys, it is delicious. <laughs> He's a little daring. <laughs> It's July 2nd, and as you saw, Spaceship Earth has the red, white, and blue on it. Some more festival merchandise still available. Due to lower we just ran into Isaac Nail! I'm gonna post that picture right here. I know you can't really see, but I am ending the night with this delicious float and the fireworks are about to start, so let's catch some of that. beautiful today. If you guys have been following either me or my honey, Marky Mouse, then you know that we love this day till the very end at the parks. And a lot of times we've been lucky enough to be the last ones out. We are on the Germany side of Epcot right now and it has emptied out so much. There are still people here, but it's definitely emptied out a lot. And it's amazing when you have the park to yourself. Guys, this is gonna conclude my vlog. I wanna remind you to hit that subscribe if you're new here. Look at that behind me, how beautiful it looks. They'll be doing the red, white, and blue for tonight. Tonight is July the 2nd, and we did find out that they're gonna do fireworks for July the 4th here at Epcot. We might be back. Anyway, I wanna thank you for joining me once again. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you so much for always watching my vlogs and commenting. I wanna remind you that if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and please leave me a comment. I hope you liked some of the foods we tried, maybe made notes for when you come to visit, hopefully next year. The same foods that are here will be here. A lot of times, if it's a popular item, it'll come back. And I can tell you, I loved everything I tried tonight. Feel a little full though. But anyway, that's gonna conclude this vlog. Have a great one.